Welcome at the e 3 paint job. It's Sunday and I like to talk about an important fact for every custom painter, even if you are a professional or only a hobby painter, and that's spray gun service and spray gun cleaning. A 100% clean spray gun is a must have for every custom painter, because if there's any color, lacquer or dust left in these spray guns, you'll ruin your next paint job in seconds, and that can be a horrible nightmare because it causes a lot more time and effort to remove all the dust and the mistakes from the new paint job. So I'd like to show you how I built a spray gun washing table, a simple, cheap and easy solution to stay these spray guns as clean as they were delivered at the first day. This spray gun is more than five years old and as you can see I spent a lot of time in cleaning these spray guns because at the end of the day this saves me more time than removing all the mistakes and the dust from my paint jobs. Maybe you are lucky and you are a big paint job and have a spray gun washing machine so you don't need my spray gun washing table. But not everybody can afford these big machines or has the place to store a big spray gun washing machine with thinner and spray gun cleaner in it. So stay tuned and i like to show you how to build a little spray gun washing table. Simple, cheap and easy. And for my spray gun washing table I ordered these gastronomic trays. They are made of stainless steel and I ordered three of them. I linked all the trays in the description if you want to order them yourself. I linked also all the material I use under the video in the description. So if you want to build the spray gun washing table, find all this material in the video description. I ordered two of them with a lid so the thinner can't evaporate from the tray and this one is for the clear coat pistols. I have another one for the primer and color pistols. It's a little bit bigger and I have also a kind of bowl. It's only 40 millimeter in height and in this bowl I will put a piece of paper and that's for drying all the small and big parts of my spray guns after I have washed them in these trays. So I like to show you how I weld a kind of table to store these trays and the bowl. And if you like to build the table yourself, stay tuned. I will change to the metal shop, start my welder and weld the spray gun washing table. All tools are in place and I can start to build the table. I ordered some square tubes of stainless steel 25 by 25 millimeter and 2 meter wide. I have 5 of them, so 10 meter altogether, and that's what I need to build the table. Why do I use stainless steel? Because the paint thinner and the paint gun cleaner cause a lot of corrosion. Here I have a piece of zinc plated steel and I left it a while in the paint thinner, and as you can see, it corrodes very easy even with the zinc plating on it. So the only option you have is stainless steel because you can't paint your table when it's ready because the thinner will wash all the paint away and also powder coating will be harmed by this paint thinner and the paint gun cleaner. So the only option is the stainless steel. The first thing I'll do is I will weld a kind of frame where these trays fit in. I place all of the three trays together measure the inner width around these trays and I cut four pieces with an angle of 45 degrees on the edges and then I weld all these four pieces together and I have a kind of frame where I can put in these trays and that's the first step of my table. So let's cut the first piece of this stainless steel. I mark the inner width of these trays with some tape so I can measure it very easy. I use this ruler and I can mark the inner width. And now I can measure it on these two points and it's 77 centimeter. So I will cut the first tube in this length. I will add two millimeter on every side so the trays fit in easy and the fit is not too tight. So I have to cut 77.2 centimeter. I mark this on my Y so I know what I have to cut. 
and I have to measure the inner width because I mentioned that I will cut with an angle of 45 degrees. If this is the steel tube, I will do a cut of 45 degrees and I have to measure the inner width on this side, not the outer width, and the steel tube goes in this direction. So measure the inner width and cut with a length of 77.2 cm. I ordered some brushed stainless steel so you can mark the steel easy with a knife or with a needle as you want. I use a cutting knife and when you use the knife you get a very exact mark. And it's simple and easy. So you have the exact mark to cut the 45 degree angle. I did the same with the width of the box and I measured 30 cm, so I will cut 30.2 cm. 30.2 I have to wipe off all the tubes with some silicone remover before I can start welding to remove every fingerprint and the grease from the tubes. And I used such a soft towel and this can of silicone remover. And I will wipe off all the areas where I will weld these tubes. It's also a good idea to wear a respirator while welding because the fumes during welding are toxic. And if you have no ventilation in your shop, I recommend this respirator during the welding process. So I will use my 90 degree angle, I will arrange all these four tubes and then I can start to weld the frame I need for the table. I only tack the edges of this frame and before I weld the complete frame I will do a test fit to check if it's alright. And if all the trays fit in my frame. And that looks really good. So I can start to weld the frame and then I can do some legs. Gastronomic containers is done and I can cut the legs for my table. I ordered also four of these knobs and I will mount these knobs at the end of the legs to level my table and to adjust the height of the table. I ordered four of these knobs also for washers stainless and for nuts also stainless and what I will do is I can mount these knobs to the nut and I will weld on the washer to the nut and I will weld this washer with the nut to the leg so I can mount these knobs to my legs and I can adjust the height in the length of these screws and I can adjust the table if the floor is uneven. So let's weld the nuts to the washers, the washers to the legs and then we can mount these little knobs. 
I cut it all four legs in a length of 83 cm and now I will weld on the washers with the nuts to the legs. I will weld on the washer with the nut inside the leg. I will place the nut inside the leg and I will weld on these washers on the four edges of the legs. So let's start welding. And that's the result after I've grinded down the washers, four nice legs for my table with the mounting points for the knobs. And what I have to do now is I have to weld all these four legs to my frame and I have a table. What I will also do is I will add some support rails in a height of 20 cm for a stiff structure. But at first I will take on these four legs to the frame. And that's it. I've grinded down my welds with the angle grinder and I'm sanding these areas with the sandpaper with a grid of 120 to give it the look of the brushed stainless steel. You can also polish the stainless steel or if you have a sandblaster you can sandblast the stainless steel for a better look than I have. But for me it's fine because it's in my workshop and I like this industrial look. I can mount also the knobs to the legs for the height adjustment and then I can use my spray gun washing cable. And here it is, my little spray gun washing table. I have barrels with nitro thinner underneath to fill the gastronomic trays. As mentioned, the bigger one for the primer and the colored guns, and the smaller one you have seen for the clear coat gun. I will leave the gun 10 minutes in this nitro thinner bath, and after the bath, I will brush all parts of the spray gun with these nitro fast brushes, put them on the towel for drying, and that's it.